Hey guys, we are in Bali and um, it is going to be an interesting trip because we are here for our pre-wedding shoot but uh, we both weren't feeling very well before we flew so we didn't even know we, if we were going to make it for this trip to be very honest but it's a miracle we are in Bali it's our second official day here we spent the whole of yesterday just resting in the hotel and then going to have a quick dinner at Kilo and then crashing after that so we're going to do hand makeup at 2am later for a full day shoot so it's going to be sunrise all the way to sunset and I don't know, I'm excited but also very nervous not knowing if my body can take it or not <clears throat> I still sound a little bit nasal and my ears are still blocked from the airplane and this guy is still working <laughs> so yeah, we are in Bali for 5 days for a pre-wedding shoot and uh, just really happy to be back after 3 years Pre-wet shoot, Long quite exciting. Got oh, these amazing guys. Hello. The journey with us. It's gonna be a one and a half hour trip out. And we can't wait to see how the photos will turn out. See ya. We are doing hair and makeup in the middle of a forest. Yeah. I don't even know how is that possible. Say hi, Ayu. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> yeah, morning. <laughs> Still morning. Yeah. yeah. What time is it? Uh? Eight plus. Eight. <gasps> really okay. feeling her shit. We haven't slept yet. <laughs> Craving some steaks and found this place pretty near our hotel. It's been such a long day. Yeah, we started. Vivian started the day at two o'clock. I started the day at four a.m. So it's been more than like 12, 15 hours. And yeah, can't wait to dig in for dinner. Yay! Having Indonesian food today, and this is the satay and the very famous nasi kampur, where you can basically try all the best dishes. This is 
the ayam bakar. I love ayam bakar. I saw it on the menu. I was like, I have to get it. And coconut. There is calf into like heart shape. Uh, just like my love for you. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. I think if it's good, we have to come back with the cake. So it's our fifth day. It's actually our first time taking a morning flight back. Very we impressed. usually take um, the right last time. flight back. Yeah. But you know, it's the weekends, we gotta go back to work, and it's a long weekend. For most people, it's like they will usually extend their trip, right? But for us, we gotta go back and work. <laughs> so um, it's been a good trip. Yes. Just counting our blessings to even be here. Because, yeah, we were very sick and, um, yeah, just being able to make it for this trip, we always say it's really a crazy miracle. Yeah. Praying we get back safe and fully recover. Just so glad that we have one thing off the list, which is our pre-wedding shoot. Yeah. We are getting married in exactly 50 days. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's kind of crazy to us because... Obviously, there's still so much to do, and we're going back to. Oh yes, please. Uh, we're going back to exactly clear all the backlog for the wedding. Just sharing. It's funny because we are at this place, and uh, Bali for us has been kind of crazy. We were just reviewing the. I, I've been here about six times already, and then four times with Bernard, and. This four times, so much drama. The first time we had crazy, what we call, I think is it Bali Belly. We had diarrhea for like two, three days. We were here for seven days and we were out for two to three days. And the last time we came to Bali, we actually missed our flight. And I pointed out this place because <laughs> we ended up staying the night here and catching like the next possible flight in the morning out back to Singapore so this time when we came we were so sick and almost didn't make it on the flight so Bali for us has always been dramatic but always so good the restaurants the cafes um, has always been top of the notch and yeah we're just excited to go back and uh, yeah just thankful for this trip once again Hey guys, so today we are going to have a dinner with our groomsmen and bridesmaid. Uh, we've arranged for a dinner for all of us to meet and we didn't tell them like what's the agenda for the dinner. Some of them even think that we're like having dinner alone so <laughs> I hope it's okay. <laughs> we are going to Publico for dinner. I've been running around the whole of today just running errands and preparing the bridesmaid and groomsmen box. I went to SKP to get the stuffing and the past few days has just been like running around uh, getting random stuff that we plan to put in the box. So I don't know if you can see but like yeah our whole car is just filled with stuff and I figured that like I'll just do the box at the restaurant cause it's almost impossible to be carrying like 10 boxes around. So I'm going to go early and I'm going to prep the boxes. I'm really excited about that because even though I may seem like an extrovert, I find it very hard to express myself in ways that I words like to write you a card or express how I feel about you. That is when how do I express myself is I think through gifts, not, not receiving them but by giving gifts. 
So I thought that, you know, the box would be quite cute because it would be like individually expressed to what this person really is and, you know, each box is kind of catered to each one of them. Obviously, all of them has played a significant role and part in our lives and they're very, very important to us. So it's going to be an exciting day and I am going to pick Bernard. He's going to go get his suit done. It's his second fitting. We're officially, I think, like 48 days away from the wedding. I honestly don't know what we don't know. Um, that's the thing, right? When you've <laughs> never gotten married before, <laughs> um, you really don't know like what is right or wrong, whether you're doing the right things, whether you're on track. So that's kind of where we are at. The priority at this point is to settle the guest list. But yeah, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. So this is just some wedding updates. I can't wait to show you a bit more on the dinner that's gonna happen tonight. Hey guys, we are done with our brunch <laughs> and groomsmen boxers. Uh, we came about one and a half hours early and I was so scared that we didn't have enough time but everything looks good. Um, it has come together. I wouldn't have been able to fulfill this alone. So props to this guy. He settled the guy's side and uh, <clears throat> apparently he says that he's nicer than the girl's one. Bias. <laughs> the color contrast is very nice. So I'm gonna show you a tour of what we have just done. 